Now, one of the buildings that survived was Luca Delicatessen, a third generation family business right there in the marina. You can see them. KPX 5's Mary Lee spoke with the owner who shares what he remembers about that day. Okay, coming up. We've been doing this for so long. We grew up um, in this business, so it's really in our blood and it's something that that's what, what we know. Paul Bosco's family has owned Luca Delicatessen right here in the Marina District since 1929. My grandfather grew up right around the corner on, um, on Toledo. There's people that come in today that still know um, my grandparents and my father. They're like a familiar friend in the neighborhood, enduring a lot together, including the 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake, where the Marina District was one of the hardest hit areas in San Francisco. You know, the entire community was affected here for sure. The difference between this and the other buildings in the Marina is it's not a corner building. Um, it, it's in the middle of the block. And as you can see, when you look at the building here, this building is butted up against this building here and so when the uh, when the earthquake happened uh, basically the buildings just kind of bounce off of each other and they they hold each other up oh my god well you know there was uh, the the one thing I do remember was the fires the fires was the worst part of the earthquake USGS seismologist Dr. Anne-Marie Balte says the Loma Prieta earthquake showed us how places far away from the epicenter like the Marina District could still suffer severe damage, especially in landfill and unstable soil. The marina sits on very soft landfill. If you take a bowl of jello and you shake that, it kind of starts shaking, amplifying, and it lasts for a lot longer. That's very similar to what happened in the marina. Since the Loma Prieta earthquake, USGS has added more seismic sensors across the Bay Area. Around 550 seismic stations now provide continuous, real-time data. That information goes straight to their shake alert earthquake early warning system. As earthquakes occur, the waves travel here and are recorded on the station. Information is then immediately sent to our computers. We can quickly determine where and when an earthquake occurred. This is actually the seismic instrument. So inside this box are our instruments that record the earthquake as it comes to this station. Then this box is connected to the power system, which is powered by the solar panel. And above that is a GPS antenna um, and a radio. Since 1989, we've added about five times as many seismic stations in the San Francisco Bay Area. So we're able to much better monitor uh, for earthquakes and figure out when they're happening much more quickly. Paul Bosco is glad to hear we now have more seismic sensors in the Bay Area. He thinks it's so important to be prepared since he says it's only a matter of time before the next one hits. Mary Lee, KPIX 5. When USGS seismic sensors detect an earthquake of magnitude 4.5 or higher, a shake alert early warning message will be sent to local transport transportation agencies like BART. And also if, to your phone in the region, if it's in the region, the warning is only a matter of seconds, and that's why the USGS recommends having an earthquake plan and also a preparedness kit.